Okay, well, I was I had made a longer video to show all this stuff I'm going to show. And let's just say certain production errors made it a disaster. So, I've had to simplify it. What I'm going to show you is I used this brand Star Inc. Uh, toner cartridges to replace my original HP cartridges in my Color Laser Jet Pro MFP 281 FDW. It's a very common cartridge. What I wanted to show you was what I believe is the way you can refill these very easily. So as a starting point, I had watched a video of somebody trying to, you know, doing a refill on an original HP cartridge and it looked like a real pain in the ass. So I said, well, hmm, it doesn't look too great. So what I've got here to start with this is the original cartridge that came with this printer. And I saved them in case I ever had a malfunction. I wanted to be able to put original cartridges back in. So these are not used up, so I'm protecting them. So I didn't, and one thing you never want to do is you never want to touch that photoconductive drum. You get fingerprints on it, you probably ruin it. So try to be careful with this. But what I wanted to show you, if you look at the end of this thing, you see, there are no screws in the end of it. We look at the other end. Oh, hmm. There are no screws in the end of the other end of this thing either. And that's why the video I watched was so disheartening. He was, you know, prying this thing apart with screwdrivers, and he was using a, uh, uh, like a carpet knife or whatever, those exacto box cutter knives, to take the thing apart so he could get it to the point where he could put some refilled toner into the thing okay so set this thing aside that's an original yeah and if you need pizza at this point it looks like i have a coupon for pizza here now what we're going to look at is one of these old uh, star ink brand ones now, these work pretty good for me. The printing quality has been good. Uh, the only negative I had was uh, they actually stopped having the, apparently enough toner or something when they were down to about 30%. So I contacted the company and they sent me a whole other set of them at no cost. So that was good. So now the reason I'm wanting to show you this, you know, it looks pretty similar. Let me go back to this one. It looks pretty similar to the original. You know, here's the original, here's the replacement. The difference is, when we look at the side here, the star ink one over here has screws in the side. Like I was saying, this one has screws, this uh, star ink brand. The original one doesn't. It's all ultrasonically welded together. So I'll turn it around to this side, get a view from this other side. So again, we see that the Star Inc. one has screws, the original HP doesn't. But the important part, the thing that's wonderful from our standpoint, stand this up on end, we get a better view here. You notice this is a magenta cartridge. What do we see here in this off-brand? Ooh, that's interesting. What we see is a plastic cap that can easily be pried off with your fingernail or a small screwdriver. What do we see on the original HP? Hmm, we don't see anything because we can't get in there to see anything. And that's why the other guy who was showing you how to refill these originals had to rip the thing apart and go at this a different way. So. If you use up your originals and then you buy this this brand, or I, I presume many other brands are probably the same way, all you got to do to refill the toner is pop that out, pop that little plastic out, pour some toner in it. How much? I don't know. But pour some toner in it, put the plastic cap back on, and you'll have a new toner supply. I haven't tried it yet. I plan to when my current set of cartridges runs out. So that's my plan. So if anybody tries this, leave some feedback on here as to did that work or not, because it's going to be real easy to refill these. The original way they used to make toner cartridges, they had a toner supply like here, 
And then they had a waste tank. And so the photoconducting drum picked up the part that was supposed to, well, there was a roller that is completely coated with toner. The photoconducting drum picked up from that roller only those parts that were the printing. And so that intermediate roller, except for the little bit of toner that got put onto the photoconducting drum, most of the toner just got wasted. And so you wasted a huge amount of toner on the original way these things were made. What I discovered after taking this apart, there is no waste tank. They just scrape the excess toner that doesn't get used for printing off and it just falls back into the supply bin. So you don't even need to worry about emptying a waste bin on these. If you're getting low on toner, at least in theory, you can just replenish it by taking this out, putting more toner in, and then going and putting the whole thing back in the printer. Again, I'm looking at these, that's the way it seems. I haven't actually had the opportunity to do it yet. If you try it, it works, you know, let us know. Uh, these things don't last forever, so at some point you can't just keep adding, you know, toner because the photoconducting drum at some point is going to get, you know, used up essentially. They just don't last forever. Or they'll get scratched and then you'll have a, a spot on your printing that's got a scratch mark on it from the drum. So don't expect it'll, you know, you'll be able to refill this in perpetuity, but hopefully you, we could get, you know, three, maybe three refills out of this before you have to buy a new set. So that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I put the cat to sleep. Hopefully you're still awake.